don't let anybody pressure you into doing it. Toxic relationships are not cute. That's all I gotta say. What's the point in cheating? You're young. Don't do that. I didn't get over this boy for months. I'm talking about like eight months. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another freaking video. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be a very much needed girl talk. Well, it might not be very much needed for y'all, but I just wanna have a girl talk. Okay, I'm sorry about that. This child just came busting in my room and I really hope my daughter don't do stuff like that because no, I can't even film a YouTube video. Like, come on now. But okay, I have a list of topics to talk about. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first topic I have is losing virginity. I personally feel like it's not a certain age you should lose your virginity at. I feel like it's whenever you're ready. If you feel like you're ready at 13, by all means, lose it at 13. I personally feel like a good age in today's society is probably 16, 17. I'm not just saying that Kyle lost mine at 16, but I really do feel like that's a good age, in my opinion. Because it's not too young. It's not too old. It's a pretty good thing. I personally feel like I was ready when I lost mine. It was plenty of times boys were trying to do it with me. I wasn't ready. I didn't do it. Don't let anybody pressure you into doing it. Because, baby, believe me. These boys only want one thing, one thing, one thing. And me and my baby is a prime example of that, okay? All right, moving right along to the next topic, because that one was starting to get kind of hurtful, is toxic relationships. Wait, before we get into the next topic, y'all like my hair? Because it is so cute to me. It's giving, I don't even know. But it's just cute. This is my first time doing this style too. And I think I did pretty good. Pretty good. But yeah, toxic relationships. Toxic relationships are not cute. I don't care what nobody say. They're not cute. They're not cute. I don't mess with them. Healthy relationships are 2022 for me. I cannot do them. Like, I hate toxicity. And I'm dealing with it right now with my baby daddy but i hate it like i do not like any toxicity in my life it's not good for you your life will be so much better and everything will run so much smoother if you surround yourself with healthy relationships with people it don't even have to be a boyfriend girlfriend type relationship friendships anything make it healthy because toxic relationships will drain every single thing out of you Especially if it's a real relationship. So please don't do that. Because if you my boyfriend and you toxic, I'm going to cut you off like that. Because no, I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. You're not finna talk to me any kind of way. you definitely not finna hit me. <sighs> no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Next topic is teen pregnancy. Now, y'all, I'm not finna sit here and bash teen pregnancy. Because I'm pregnant myself as a teenager. However, I do not recommend teen pregnancy. This is not how things were intended to be, but that's the reality of life. Teenagers are gonna get pregnant because they're not using protection and I wasn't using protection. Like, you just need to use protection when you're doing stuff. Wear a raincoat, okay? Make sure that boy is wearing a raincoat because if that water starts leaking out, people don't think it's gonna happen to them and that's the main thing. They don't think it's going to happen to them, but it can. I didn't think it was going to happen to me, but it did. And after I dropped this baby, I will definitely use protection until I'm ready to have another child. Because no, 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 no. I love my daughter, but I wish I would have used protection 110%. And another thing is everybody look at teen pregnancy 
as if the girl is an HOE. Just because you're pregnant as a teenager does not mean you're an HOE. It does not mean that. And that's what I hate because I am definitely not one at all. And I hate that people associate it like that because no. No, you can be losing your virginity and get pregnant that same day is what people don't be understanding. Like, please do not associate teen pregnancy as the girl being fast, being HOE, none of that. Because it's not always true. I'm not saying it's not true for everybody, but it's not true for me. And it's not true for a lot of girls that got pregnant young. The next topic is cheating. I hate cheating, y'all. Like, what are you cheating for? We're too old for that. I would never would cheat in my life these days. Now, back in the olden days, yeah, I used to cheat like a mug. But at some point in life, you have to mature from that. You have to learn from that. You have to grow and prosper and learn that cheating is just not right. Like, if you don't want to be with the person, tell them. That's all I got to say. What's the point of cheating? What is the point of cheating? Do not cheat. Let these people know how you really feel. And another thing is, if somebody cheat on you and you decide to stay with them, don't try to get your lick back. Didn't nobody make you stay with that person. That was your decision. So be mature about it. The next topic is sending news. Y'all, listen to me and listen to me good. Do not send news. Do not send news. Do not send news, okay? I haven't sent a news in years. I haven't. Sending news is very iffy. If you trust the person, go ahead and do it. But people are childish. People are very childish, especially if y'all are young. If you're like 13, 14, that boy is probably going to go show his friends. You might do something to make him mad. He might go post it on Instagram. Like, people are childish, y'all. They're so childish. And that's why I cannot even with sending news. Okay? Just please don't do it. Please don't do it. Just show the person in person. Just don't send news. I don't know. I don't condone that. Now, if you're grown, you're 24 years old, do what you want. Y'all are married, y'all are sleeping in the same bed every single night. At that point, I really don't see no point in sending news. But go ahead and do it. But if you're young, don't do that. Do not do that. Do not do that. Please don't do that, love. The next topic is heartbreak. Heartbreak is such a sad thing, y'all. It is such a sad thing. I've been through heartbreak one time in my life, and it really hit hard. I didn't get over this boy for months. I'm talking about like eight months. I was so in love with that boy. And he broke up with me over something so little. Some people get over people like this. Some people like me don't. If I like you, it is so hard for me to unattach myself to you. Because that's just how I am. I think I have an attachment disorder. I don't know. But heartbreak is hard, y'all. I don't even know how to get over heartbreak. All I do is cry and cry and cry and cry and let time heal me. So next topic is going to be body count. Uh, y'all, please stop body shaming females. If this girl has five bodies, let her be. Now, if you have seven bodies at 13, it doesn't look too good for you. However, that doesn't always mean you're an HOE. If you know you spaced out those bodies, if you know you use protection, but all I have to say is be safe with it. Me personally, I would never run my body count up like that. Especially at my young age. I'm only 17. However, I know some girls have a lot of bodies. And I would never judge them. Because you never know what happened to this person. 
And a lot of people that have like really high body count at a young age, they have most likely been through something that made them do that. Maybe their dad died at a young age and they went looking for love from boys. Something like that, you know? I literally have watched girls grow through stuff like that. Y'all never know. She stop body shaming females, stuff like that. Like, no. Okay, the last topic I have is S-E-X. Y'all know that's a beautiful thing. But please use protection. Get on birth control. Wrap up. Do something. Especially if you're young and you're not trying to get pregnant like me. But you know, things happen. Things happen. But be safe with it. Be safe with it. That's all I have to say. And that's pretty much it for this YouTube video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please comment down video ideas below in the comment section. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, I love you.